Well, in a sense, we've devalued uh, uh, already. You, you have to remember that we're floating and that, uh, that a, most, uh, a great many countries in the world have changed, uh, they've revalued, or they're floating. And as a consequence, uh, the dollar has, in effect, been devalued already. Do you ever get so uh, they, they, you know, they tend to speak of it in terms that, that uh, we're, uh, we're fearful of this. We're, we're not fearful of it. We, we have no uh, hesitancy about the dollar, assuming uh, uh, its relative position to other currencies in terms of what the market says it's worth. This, in the final analysis, is what makes good neighbors and good trading partners. And uh, we're happy for the dollar to be in that position. Do you ever get the feeling, Mr. Connolly, this is a meeting of the group of nine versus the United States? <laughs> well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly characterize it as such, but uh, I, I every now and then get the feeling that, uh, that uh, we probably have uh, uh, the greater burden to speak uh, our position than they, any other nation does for their exclusive position.